Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through what Google Ads look like, and I'm going to show you the different types of campaigns that allow you to make your ads look however you like. Now, to start off, what do Google Ads actually look like to the normal consumer, and what is your advertising going to show up as? Because that's important. We really want to know what we're showing our customer, and certain ads are great for certain customers and other ads not so much. So you have to be sure on what ads you actually want to show your customer and not waste ad spend on. Because if you're running display ads, but you only want your ad to appear when certain people type in certain search terms, then a display campaign isn't right for you. And there's a whole bunch of different scenarios where you really got to be sure of the ads you're running. So to start off, what do Google ads actually look like? And there is a plethora of different ads on Google. I have found this one nice document on Angio Digital. I'm sorry, I probably butchered that name, but shout out to them. Thanks for letting me use your like little document here. But I'm going to walk you through a few different ads. I'm also going to go over some of the ones that aren't here. So to start off, you have your basic search ad. And as you can see here, when someone types in a certain keyword inside Google, your ad is eligible to pop up. Now, what this means for your customer is that they're going to see your ad either in the top three spots or possibly on the bottom of the screen, depending on how well your ad quality is, what your bid rank is, and where you score in the auction. However, that's essentially what the search ad looks like. It's a basic ad with a link to your website or landing page. It is the most common ad used for most Google Ads account, especially service-based businesses, I find. Really try and double down on search ads just because they are so profitable, because they can capitalize on people's search intent. And chances are, if someone's looking for HVAC service that's near me, pool installation near me, stuff like this, it shows a very high buying intent, and they're more than likely going to give you a call. That's why we here at Traceman Digital Marketing get conversion rates of 20 to 40%. We're really good at figuring out what keywords have high buying intent and really search ads are really the way to go for a lot of businesses now there are other types of ads out there there's a lot of them you've looked up any electronics or devices or anything like that maybe even, or just products online you've probably come across google shopping ad this is a great way to advertise if you're doing e-commerce or just online products absolutely awesome way it shows a little image of what you're actually selling so here it's computers as you can see a whole bunch of different computers here the pricing the reviews on them i think it's an awesome way to actually sell products online we don't do e-commerce here at trace and digital marketing however if we did these would more than likely be the ads we'd really be going after just because they do generally show a pretty good return now another ad that almost everyone has seen is the display ad and this is a banner ad generally found on the side of a screen there's a whole bunch of other areas display ads are actually able to show up they're able to show up in front of youtube videos they're able to show up in front of your email there's so many places display ads can actually pop up it's absolutely crazy google does a very very good job at really putting display ads everywhere it can think of and trying to capitalize on certain audiences now the issue with display ads here compared to search ads is display ads really go after an audience search ads go after a search term so google essentially segments people into certain audiences so maybe it thinks you're in you know you're looking to buy a pool Google can kind of figure that out based on your search history and a whole bunch of other factors and then it'll say okay this pro person's probably going to buy a pool so let's show them this ad with display ads you can't be as specific as search ads therefore the conversion rates are generally lower so you're going to be getting more clicks but less actual leads however the cost per click is generally a lot lower than a search ad so you have to really look at what your cost per lead is when it comes to display ads but these can be used very effectively especially if you have a limited amount of search volume for your search ads and this is a nice little bonus piece on top of it that way you can just capitalize on the extra ad spend you may have another type of ad is local service ads now I have not heard many great things about local service ads. A lot of the time I see people coming to us and saying, I've tried local service ads. They did not work out well. The lead quality is poor. However, I'd imagine there are some companies out there having great success with them. That being said, I just have never heard of one. So it is up to you. But these display right at the very top of Google. I really like that. However, Google is in full control of when your ads actually appear. So you don't go after actual search terms and it makes the decision on when or when not to show your ads, which sometimes is good and sometimes it's bad depending on what keywords you're popping up for. Some keywords you don't wanna pop up for. And that's the nice thing about search ads where you have that control. You can say, hey, I don't wanna pop up for plumbing DIY or plumbing companies looking to hire. However, with local service ads, you don't have that control. Google determines when you're gonna appear for it. Now, another type of ad is YouTube ads. So 
So I'm sure everyone's familiar with those 30 second ads that appear right before a video and everyone loves them. That, that was sarcastic if you didn't get that. But those can also be a really great way to advertise as well, especially if you have a well dialed in message and you can go after a specific audience or even possibly a certain YouTube channel. A very awesome ad to run if you know what you're doing and you can see some incredible results just running those YouTube ads. However, again, you have to have a super dialed in message. And the issue with YouTube ads is if you give it a budget, chances are it's going to spend the entire budget. So you got to know what you're doing. But Google really has a ton of ads. And these are just some and these are what they look like. Again, display ads are the on the side of the screen. They're a banner ad. Everyone's seen them. They generally try and attract as much attention as possible. So you see bold colors with them. Search ads are just a generic headline and a description and it leads to a certain website. Local service ads generally you're going to be just typing in some information here and trying to get a lead from there. Google shopping ads allows you to direct people to a certain page or a landing page to sell your product. Now, if we actually go into the campaign here, you can see that we have a variety of campaigns to choose from. So we have the search campaign that allows us to do search ads, like I said, display that allows us to really broadcast our message on the side of screens in front of a whole bunch of different things. Uh, shopping, like we've seen before in this description with shopping ads, selling products, video, which is YouTube. There are a couple other ones. So the app campaign allows you to advertise your app, which is cool if you have an app and it's relevant and you can make sales. But a lot of people don't do this correctly. They get a whole bunch of app downloads, but it never really leads to anything. So if you're going to be using the app campaign, you really have to have your sales dialed in and you have to have a goal on what you want to achieve. You can't just say, I just want to achieve as many downloads as possible. Generally, that doesn't work out well in the long run because you're going to be losing money. Discovery is great. This allows you to run on YouTube, discover. It really just puts your message out across a whole bunch of channels. That being said, it doesn't have as much control as search or display. That's why I like having a search campaign or display campaign separate. Most of these campaigns, when you see Smart, Discovery, Performance, Max, what they do is they just take all of these campaigns, they combine them, and then Google just sprays and prays like someone shooting a shotgun and just sprays and prays and hopes something sticks to the wall. And sometimes this works really well, sometimes it doesn't work as well. But generally what we see is if you go in and you create separate campaigns, like you have a search campaign, you have a display campaign, you have a video campaign, if you have them separated, chances are they're gonna convert better than a performance max or a smarter discovery, just because you can dial in on what is performing better. Whereas with these automated campaigns, you can't dial in as much and you have to have Google's AI do the work for you. And you have to let Google's AI adapt and really adjust and optimize your campaign for you. Whereas with the other one, you can manually go in and do that. So a word from today's sponsor, if you're interested in building out your own call only campaign and getting your business phone ringing, getting high quality, sustainable leads month after month, this is the course for you. It walks you through step by step how to build, how to optimize the theory behind it on how to run a successful call only ads campaign. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's super simple. It's plug and play. It comes with headlines, comes with descriptions, everything you need to run a successful call only campaign and get your phone ringing time and time again. So if you're interested in building out a very successful call only campaign, check out our ultimate call only ads course. The link is down below. It's a fantastic course and I recommend it to anyone who is new to call only ads. It will save you a whole bunch of time. It comes with descriptions, headlines that are proven to work. So it really just saves so much time and brings you so much further above your competition. And it really allows you to beat your competition because you're going to be optimizing this campaign on a weekly basis. So you can stay ahead, get better results in your competition and really just have a successful campaign overall. So that's it for today's video on what Google ads look like. If you have any comments, questions or concerns about Google ads, what they look like or anything about Google ads in general, leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer it. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.